way to the Honourable Lady. I'm very grateful to my fellow um, member and chair of the Treasury Committee for giving way. Does he agree with me that while there should be a rebalancing, it's important to recognise that inequality uh, has to be tackled in cities like London, as well as towns and across the country. For instance, in my constituency, we have the highest rate of child poverty in the country, and we need a much more nuanced, granular response to inequality. And also, can he say something about the fact that the Chancellor has left out uh, investment in local government, uh, which is much needed, and the investment in housing is welcome, but it needs to go a lot further to tackle the housing crisis. The um, investment is going. I, I've yet to pour through the granular detail, as the Honourable Lady uh, suggests, uh, in, in the red uh, book. But what I do know in terms of looking after uh, the less advantaged and the lowest paid in our society, that there was an important reference made by the Chancellor to the increase in the national uh, living wage, uh, an increase worth uh, around £1,000 uh, uh, pounds per year. And, of course, this is a government that's also in uh, increased the personal allowance, taking millions of people, uh, particularly the lowest paid, out of tax altogether, and of course the changes to the threshold of the national insurance contributions to 9,500 will also uh, serve that particular purpose. But